might have outed the system. But if you could hang out for a smidge, smidge. Get some light. That's all we got for light. It's gloomy. Alrighty. So we got a couple minutes. Uh, today will be a slow flow class. I haven't decided what we're doing yet. <laughs> I know you guys are shocked. <laughs> oh, it's been a week. So feel free to grab your coffee. Thank you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What? <laughs> Guys, I stopped doing classes here for like a hot minute. I'm used to a certain way of life. <laughs> oh, I know. It's our, it's, it's our new uniform. All the Earth Rider gear. today with coffee. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody know about Cthulhu? That's what happens when you let boys pick your coffee mug. It never ends well. Alrighty, so I think we'll get started. I think every clock in my house has a different time. We're gonna give this guy a chance to see <laughs> see how he behaves. But we are gonna get started. So we're gonna get started a little differently with legs up the wall. So if you don't have space um, or you're just not feeling legs up the wall, feel free to take a recline butterfly. And we'll just kind of step on up to the wall. Bring the feet up and relax the head back. Shoulders down, palms out to the side. And just take a minute and unwind. Start to feel the feet and the head relax. And we're going to count the exhales. So first I want you to just observe the breath. Observe the pace temperature, maybe even the sound of your inhales and exhales. And then we're going to start to slowly count the exhales. So take a nice deep inhale. And exhale one. Inhale from the belly. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four. And continue counting the exhales at your own pace. track you can always start again at one your mind starts to wander just 
bring it back to the breath. comfortable for your neck. Come back to center. Bring both feet flat onto the floor. Fingertips towards the heels. Lift the hips up. Lower down, bring the knees in, and we're going to find a happy baby. So grabbing the pinky edge of the feet. If this is uncomfortable, you can grab onto the ankles, behind the knees. You can also kind of like take a supine child's pose. Bring both knees in, feet come down, back to that bridge pose, lift the hips. Lower down, knees in. Now we're going to bring them over to the right. And gaze is wherever is comfortable for your neck. Come back to center. Feet come down. One last round. Find that bridge pose. Lower the hips, happy baby. Bring the knees in, feet come down. One last bridge pose. Lower down. Knees into chest and just rock from side to side. And then make your way into a tabletop. Inhale, drop to the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl. In. And exhale. Come back to center. Right arm goes nice and high. Exhale, thread the needle. Maybe. <laughs> I lost the top of my mat to my cat. Come back to center. Right arm goes nice and high. Send it forward. Left leg goes back. Little balance. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, up. And we're here for four. Three. 
You want me to grab them? You might have to. <laughs> Left arm goes long, right arm back. Oh, this is why I'm into the studio, guys. Hi. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back out. And knee to elbow. Inhale, back out. <laughs> We're here for four. Thank you. Three. Two. And one. Hold the balance here. And down to tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly button to the gate. Exhale. Two more rounds. Last one. Come back to center, sit back on the heels, and we're going to move through some kneeling wound salutations. So inhale, comes on up. Come, come on up onto the knees. Come down, find a child's pose. Coming into tabletop, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gates. Exhale, throw. Come back to center. Tuck the toe down, we're facing up. Take a moment here, this is our first one. Pedal up the feet, move the hips. I don't know about you guys, but my calves always feel so tight at the end of the day. Finding some stillness, come down to the knees, sit back. Inhale, comes up. Exhale, tail Into tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl. Come back to center, down dog. Again, take a moment here. Walk it out. Over to the left thigh, little twist. Come back to center, take it over to the other side. And come back to center. Step up towards the top of your mat. Find a nice little forward fold. Grab off the elbows. Maybe you sway from side to side. Hands come down, right to a chair pose, nice and long. Exhale, lower it down. Step back, down dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Hips are squared towards the top, arms come up overhead. Hands come behind, interlace the fingers, lift the chest and gaze. Option to stay right where you are, or exhale, hinge forward. Hands come down, high plank. We're gonna hold here. So option to come down to the knees. We're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Down, we're facing up. Left foot steps forward, warrior one. Arms come up overhead. 
Interlace the fingers, lift the chest and knee. Option to stay here, exhale, hinge forward. Hands come down, high plank. Again, holding here. Option to come down to the knees. And we'll be here for five, four, three, two, one. Take it over to the right side, side plank. If you need to bring that bottom knee down, you can. Holding here. Come back to center. Left side, side plank. Come back to center. Hold here for three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior two. Always check to make sure you have that heel to arch alignment. Take your time standing up. Shoulders are down. Flip the front palm reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, comes all the way up, toes point out, sit low, find a squat. We're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lifts. Hands come onto hips. You can turn the feet, little back bend. Exhale, straddle forward fold. Weight is slightly in the toes. Walk the hands over to that right foot. Turn and find a low lunge. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands come down. Shift back, half split. Option to stay up on the knee or maybe you sit down. A lesser stretch, hands are close to the body. Deeper stretch, walk them out towards the foot. Walk your hands forward. Bring both hands inside, finding that lizard, that nice hip stretch. Again, lots of options here. You can come down to the forearms. You can take a twist. Bring that foot back in between the hands. Tuck the back toes down. Oh. I'm going to turn so my back's not to you guys. Left foot steps forward. Warrior two. Checking for that alignment on the feet. Lift the front palm reverse. Side angle. Reverse. And side angle. Come all the way up. Toes point out. Exhale, sit low. Adding on a little bit here. Bring the hands to the thighs. Left shoulder dips down. Come back to center. And right shoulder. Come back to center, all the way up. 
Option now, if you want to clasp the hands behind, lift the chest and gaze, and then hinge forward. And then you can drop the hands down to the floor at any time. Walk the hands over to the left foot. Turn, low lunge. Hands come down, shift back, half split. comfortable, feel free to take the supine version. If you'd like to take a quad stretch or just settle in. Coming back to those nice deep inhales and exhales. Right hand reaches through to the left thigh. Come back to center. And the left hand reaches through. Reach. Boop. Come back to center. Pigeon on that right side. I bet you guys thought I forgot. <laughs> I got you. I won't leave you lopsided. And again, if you want to take that quad stretch, stay up on the hands, settle in. If you'd like to take one last down dog, just kind of come over onto that side, bring both in front, and then make your way knees into chest. And we'll bring the knees over to the right. Little supine twist. Come back to center. Feet come down. Lift the hips, find your bridge pose, but we're going to add on. Cross that right ankle, left ankle over, or right ankle, whichever. Holding here. Come back to center. And then cross the other ankle.
Come back to center. Lower the hips down. Find that happy baby or your variation. And if you're not feeling happy baby today, just bring knees into chest and rock side from side. And bring both knees in. Tip it over to the left. Maybe you get the bonus of a little back crack. back to center. We'll make our way into legs up the wall again. So kind of coming first full circle here. Again, option to take a recline butterfly. Or maybe you're ready to just go right into Savasana. Wherever you're at, close the eyes. Nice deep inhale, full complete exhale. A nice deep inhale, and full complete exhale. We'll be here for just a couple more breaths. So option to stay right where you are if you are in legs of the wall, if you are in a reclined butterfly, or if you already made your way to Savasana. Whatever is calling you this evening. And we're gonna end with one of my favorite meditations, our color meditation. So just take a moment and get in a comfortable position. Close the eyes if that's comfortable for you. 
Take a nice deep inhale. And full complete exhale. We'll take one more nice deep inhale together. And full complete exhale. I want you to picture your least favorite color. And I want you to imagine it as bright as you can in your mind. With each exhale, we are going to let that shit go. Anything that has been bothering you, stressing you out, pissing you off. Oh yeah, I'm going there, guys. It's been a month. 2020 has been a year. <laughs> oh, we're going to be a little transparent today. We're just going to let that shit go. And with every exhale, we're going to dim that least favorite color until you can't see it anymore. If it's something you're not ready to let go of, you can set it aside and move on to the next. But we're just gonna take some weight off of our shoulders. Maybe have a sigh of relief. Give yourself a little break. Now I want you to think of your absolute favorite color. But we're gonna start with it really dim. And with each inhale, we're gonna brighten that light until it covers your entire space by thinking of everything that makes you happy, that brings you joy, that makes you smile. Even if it's as ridiculous as cleaning your house. Anything that brings you any amount of joy, I want you to think about. And we're gonna create a little gratitude list that you can take with you for the rest of the week into your weekend. So if things start to get frustrating or stressful or chaotic, you can always come back to this gratitude list. You can always come back and redo this meditation or even just think of your favorite color. And again, taking a moment to press pause and smile. to just sit with your favorite color, sit with this gratitude list, or maybe you go back to that least favorite color because there's just a few more things you just gotta get rid of. Whatever you need, take these next few moments to do exactly just that. class right where you are there's absolutely no rush take your time stay here a little bit longer um, I'm honored that I'm able to keep these classes still donation based with your guys help and support um, any little bit helps and I will see you guys next time have a great night guys thanks <laughs>